Hey guys, Chris here, and uh, today I'm gonna make a tutorial how to to uh, or make 3D text in Adobe After Effects CS6. This doesn't work in Adobe After Effects CS5 or CS5.5 because uh, it doesn't have the new features which is in Adobe After Effects CS6. So yeah, um, let's just get started. Uh, we got a um, I'm gonna show you two methods to do this. I'm gonna up, I'm gonna import some cinematics. I'm gonna provide that in the description. So we we are going to make a new comp. I'm gonna just change my bits per channel to 16, and I'm gonna just uh, cut it really fast. And uh, what we're gonna do is gonna go and type in 3d camera tracker you can also go up here effect oops I'm gonna highlight this effect and we're going to camera where which is I mean perspective and 3d 3d camera tracker click on that and it was in a, and it will say analyzing in background so I'm gonna I'm gonna take um I'm gonna pause it and just yeah yeah so I'm back now um, from I'm analyzing background and solving the camera so what we're gonna do um, as you can see there is many track points and we want to um, like uh, click um, in a angle that uh, fits the um, area for example here um, here's the ground uh, and as you can see on the uh, target size because the the red uh, bull bullseye thing is uh, a target and as you can see it fits perfectly our here so when we're gonna click and we're gonna click on create text and camera now this takes um, a while because I will show I will show you why I don't think that it will take that too long for you but yeah I'm gonna show you alright so I got my uh, 3d camera and text which is my text is here and um, the reason because it was so slow it's because my renderer is in ray trace 3d if you click on that um, you should um, uh, have ray traced 3D as a renderer. Um, if you haven't done this before, um, you, um, your um, renderers are probably on classic 3D, but you need to check this to ray traced th 3D so you can make uh, um, 3D text. And if you go to options, you can see here is ray tracing quality. It's the quality uh, of the uh, like text and stuff. Um, I put it to this to two because um, because if you put this to one, um, you can see that the uh, text is really bad. But if you have a really really slow computer, I think you should go um, go for uh, one. But but I'm gonna stay at two. So yeah, um, yeah. So just click OK. Just um, let these be as they are. Um, yeah. So first, we're gonna just uh, fix the mm, text. So I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna highlight this and click R on my keyboard. X rotation to 90 make it kind of like this and I'm gonna click S on, my S on my keyboard to scale this is like that there's my text it's kind of um, uh, pixelated because I have a third as you can see put it some full it looks like this uh -huh. and I'm gonna just move this around I'm gonna put it right here all right so I got my text here 
and I'm going to show you the first method to do um, 3D uh, like 3D uh, text how to motion track 3D text okay so you see it's motion tracked I'm going to put this a bit this way uh huh and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, here when you have it um, as you can see on the text uh, track click on this arrow thing and go to geometry options um, you get geometry options to change uh, from changing uh, classic classic 3d to ray trace 3d as a renderer um, yeah that's because why we changed that um, bevel style I use convex because it's kind of um, Oh, smooth. Smooth this out. I'm gonna um bevel depth to one. Well, um you can just mess around with these settings. S uh, yeah. Um extrusion depth. That is the three D. As you can see, I'm gonna go for uh, maybe eighty five. Like that, and as you can see, it's three D. But um it's kind of messed up. So yeah. Make sure your uh, text is uh, white colored. Just saying. Okay. So now, um, to fix this messed up uh, 3D um, text, go to Layer, New, Light. I'm gonna make a parallel light, and you can change whatever color you want. I'm gonna go for like blue, nice blue like that and uh, intensity to 100 percent you you can just mess around here cast shadows if you want and stuff click ok and as you can see you got your uh, 3d text there's your 3d text yeah um yeah just that's just simple 3d text um you can for example add a new light um this will be a spotlight like this and we'll kind of make it uh, brighter and uh, darker at the top here you can just uh, just mess around with it like this make it kind of kind of curvy around here yeah and that's one of the uh, methods to do this um, you can just mess around with the material options for example, specular shininess, um, like that. Uh, specular um, intensity, yeah, just mess around with these uh, if you want, though. And uh, yeah, that's uh, the first method. Now we're going to show you how to make the text reflectable, like it reflects the environment that is in the cinematic that you are using so I'm gonna delete my lights remove them I'm just gonna highlight them and click delete on my keyboard um, okay so yeah as I said make sure your uh, text is white um, yeah so we're gonna highlight your text and go to material options and you're gonna you're gonna go to reflection intensity I'm gonna put that to 100% this will make your text black and it's no reflection yet um, now you gotta highlight, highlight this one and we're gonna you're gonna duplicate this CTRL plus D like that and you're gonna change this um, layer or track to a environment layer. Click on that. Now this takes a uh, really this takes um, a while. Um, yeah. And as you can see, um, you made a or I made a kind of reflectable text that um, fits your environment um, 
as you can see it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of the text is kind of bad but w oh, if you render it it will just fix it so yeah um, I was kind of confused uh, when it, when I saw that because I thought it was really ugly but when I I rendered it it it, it looks it looks fine yeah um uh, you can just mess mess around with it uh, for example bevel depth to three like do whatever you want to it I'm I'm gonna use one yeah I'm gonna just double click uh, d d double click the text and for example write tutorial uh, tutorial right like that and as you can see the text is reflectable reflectable to the environment it's really cool yeah so that's how we do do that <laughs> yeah um, thanks for watching um, mm, I hope you really like the uh, tutorial I haven't seen this on YouTube yet so just want you to be the first one to do this yeah um, see you guys later